The film begins with the story of a woman named Imelda, who leads a happy life with her musician husband. However, in pursuit of his dream to become a famous musician, her husband leaves her and their daughter Coco. Despite waiting patiently for his return, Imelda eventually loses hope. Consequently, she eliminates all music from their lives and begins crafting shoes to sustain herself and Coco. She excels in this endeavor, passing down the skill to her daughter as she matures. As time progresses, the family grows, and the business flourishes with the expanding family. 96 years later, Imelda passes away, leaving Coco as a very old woman who leads a content life with her family. Coco has lost her memory due to aging, and the household is managed by her daughter, Abuelita. Similar to Imelda, Abuelita strongly opposes music believing it had once divided the family. However, unbeknownst to the family, Coco's great-great-grandson, 12-year-old Miguel, is different. He secretly harbors a love for music and dreams of becoming a musician. Inspired by Ernesto de la Cruz, a deceased singer and film star, Cruz met his tragic end when a stage worker accidentally dropped a giant bell on him during a performance. One day, while Miguel is out cleaning shoes, he encounters a musician and shares his own story. The man encourages Miguel to pursue his dreams and invites him to showcase his musical talent at the festival honoring Ernesto de la Cruz on the Day of the Dead. Excited but uncertain about how his family will react, the man hands a guitar to Miguel, encouraging him to play. However, just as he begins, Abuelita spots him. She rushes over to the man, insisting that he stay away from Miguel. Then, she takes Miguel back home. Once they are there, she hands him a flower for the family's Day of the Dead celebration. In the family ofrenda, she explains the significance of the occasion, highlighting that it is a day when the deceased come to visit. If their photo is placed in the ofrenda, she reveals that they haven't put up a photo of Imelda's husband, because he abandoned the family, and they don't want him to visit. While Abuelita narrates, Miguel seizes the opportunity to sneak away. He seizes his homemade guitar and accompanied by his loyal dog, hastens to register for the talent show event. However, on his way, he spots Abuelita and his family deeply engrossed in preparations for the ceremony. Seeking to go unnoticed, Miguel hides amidst the family ofrenda. However, his dog, enticed by the aroma of food on the table, leaps onto it to eat. In an attempt to stop his dogs, a photograph featuring Imelda and Coco topples and shatters. Faced with panic, Miguel swiftly retrieves the fractured photo only to discover that the image of Coco father is torn. Unfolding the photo, he unveils the obscured face of a man holding Ernesto's renowned guitar. Filled with hope, Miguel rushes to his family, sharing the revelation that Ernesto de la Cruz might be a part of their lineage. However, his family rejects him, pointing to the betrayal of the man who deserted them. They seize all the musical belongings, accusing Miguel of concealing the truth. Despite Miguel's attempts to explain his love for music, Abuelita, consumed by anger, destroys Miguel's guitar. Crushed and brokenhearted, Miguel tearfully runs away from his family and heads to the talent show. Upon reaching the venue, he tries to sign up, but they won't allow him to perform without a guitar. Despite asking many people, he fails to find anyone willing to lend him a guitar. Faced with desperation, Miguel decides to take matters into his own hands. He decides to steal Ernesto's guitar from the musician's mausoleum to use in the show. Upon arriving at the graveyard, he enters Ernesto's grave carefully retrieving the guitar from its revered position, and as he's leaving, he hears people entering the graveyard. The caretaker opens the door and approaches him. Panicking, Miguel tries to explain that he's not stealing, but to his shock, the caretaker passes through him, unable to see or hear him. In a panic, Miguel rushes outside and overhears his parents frantically searching for him. As he runs toward them, he inadvertently passes through their figures and stumbles into an open grave. A compassionate woman nearby offers assistance, but to Miguel's horror, he realizes she is a skeletal spirit. Frightened, he screams and attempts to flee, only to find the surrounding area filled with similar spectral figures. In shock, he runs and hides, but upon closer inspection, he discovers that these spirits are deceased humans, there to visit their loved ones. In this moment of shock, his dog comes to him, and Miguel feels relief that his dog can see him. However, the dog suddenly runs away. Miguel follows him, but inadvertently collides with one of the skeletal spirits. Miguel apologizes, but the spirit recognizes him, shocked to see him in the land of the dead. Other spirits gather around, equally astonished. Although Miguel doesn't initially recognize them, upon closer inspection, 
He begins to identify the faces of his deceased relatives depicted in the ofrenda. Amid the confusion, twin spirits from Miguel's family emerge and reveal that Imelda is unable to cross the bridge to the world of the living. They suspect a connection to Miguel and decide to bring him into the land of the dead to unravel the mystery. Upon crossing a massive bridge and arriving in the land of the dead, Miguel is pleasantly surprised to encounter a beautiful and captivating structure. At the edge of the bridge, he notices a control point with a face scanning system that checks if the spirits have photos in the grave. A woman steps forward for her turn, and the bridge controlling scanner displays that her photo is not on the list. In a quick response, the woman removes her clothes, revealing a man's attire underneath. Seizing the opportunity, the man hurries towards the bridge. But it does not let him pass, and a police officer emerges and escorts him away. Upon arriving at the controlling department, they find Imelda engaged in a heated argument with a worker. Together, they go to the person in charge, who reveals that Miguel has been cursed for stealing the guitar. Imelda is taken aback upon learning that Miguel had played music. Unhappy with this revelation, during their discussion, she realizes that Miguel took a photo from the ofrenda. This is the reason she cannot cross the bridge. The man discloses that only a family blessing can lift the curse, and it must be given before the next sunrise. Otherwise, Miguel will become one of the dead permanently. Imelda offers Miguel a blessing, but with a condition he must abandon his musical pursuits when he returns to the living world. Despite Miguel's reluctance, he accepts the condition and receives the blessing. Returning to the land of the living, he is initially happy to be back, but cannot resist the urge to attend the festival and reclaim the guitar. Disobeying the condition, he takes the guitar again and is consequently sent back to the land of the dead. Imelda is disappointed with Miguel for breaking his promise, but he insists that he cannot stop playing music. Determined to find a family member willing to give him a blessing, Miguel approaches other relatives, but they refuse under the same condition. Realizing that the person in the photo is also family, Miguel runs away to find him. To escape his family's pursuit, Miguel hides in a small office where the man from the bridge is in confrontation with a police officer. The man proposes a deal offering to connect the officer with Ernesto de la Cruz, if he allows him to cross the bridge. However, the officer issues him a punishment ticket and leaves the office. Seeing an opportunity, Miguel hurriedly approaches the man, Hector, who is taken aback to discover a living boy in the land of the dead. Miguel proceeds to recount the entirety of his story. Hector realizes the advantage of having a living person and agrees to help takes him to Ernesto. Together, they rush to meet the famous musician. However, after losing Miguel, Imelda calls upon her spirit guiding animal, instructing it to sniff and search for Miguel's scent. In a concealed location, Hector disguises Miguel to resemble a skeleton, giving him the appearance of a spirit. Additionally, he gives him a photo of himself to place in his grave. Then, questioning Miguel, Hector inquires if he has any other relatives besides Ernesto. But Miguel lies, claiming Ernesto is the only family he has. Hector took Miguel to his friend's workplace. However, she was unhappy with him because of what he had done in the past. There, they encountered a musical band. As they spoke, they shared with Miguel the story of Hector's death, which involved him tragically choking on a chorizo. While in the conversing they learn about a music competition whose winner gets to perform at Ernesto's party. Miguel, eager to participate, requests a guitar from Hector. He takes him to a dark place, the land of the forgotten, where they encounter a bitter man. Hector asks to borrow the man's guitar, but he refuses. Suddenly, the man experiences a shock, and in his moment of pain, he requests Hector to play his favorite music. Hector starts with his charming vocals, surprising Miguel with his singing ability. After finishing the song, the man vanishes into thin air. Curious, Miguel asks Hector where the man went. Hector explains that it's the final death, where people are forgotten in the land of the living they dead from from the land of the dead. Then, they go to a music competition. After they arrive, Miguel begins to feel fearful of performing on stage. However, with Hector's encouragement, he regains composure and starts to sing. The audience responds positively, enamored by his voice and mesmerized by his performance. As Miguel finishes his song, he notices his family searching for him. Panicking, he takes Hector and attempts to run away, but Hector stops him upon realizing that Miguel is being sought by his own family. Angered that Miguel lied to him about Ernesto being his only relative, Hector tries to take him back to his family. However, thinking Hector may have selfish motives, Miguel throws his photo away, leaving Hector behind as he runs away. In his escape, aided by her spirit animal, Imelda catches up with him. Miguel argues that he won't accept her blessing if she won't let him pursue his deep love for music, 
claiming she wouldn't understand how being a musician is. He insists that he won't stop playing music. However, in his determination to reach the Ernesto party, he faces obstacles at the entrance, but finally manages to enter with the help of a music band from the competition. Inside, he searches for his great-grandfather, Ernesto. Spotting him, Miguel rushes towards Ernesto, but the crowd around him is too dense to capture his attention. Undeterred, Miguel starts singing, successfully grabbing Ernesto's attention. However, he slips and falls into the pool. Ernesto swiftly pulls him out. However, the water washes away his makeup, revealing the truth that he is a living boy everyone has been talking about. Miguel reveals that he is Ernesto's family, prompting Ernesto to joyfully proclaim Miguel as his great-great-grandson. Prompting the crowd celebrates the unexpected arrival. Ernesto introduces Miguel to famous individuals, and the two bond and spend quality time together happily. Meanwhile, Hector disguises himself as a woman to infiltrate the party. Searching for Miguel, Ernesto prepares to give his blessing to Miguel. However, Hector interrupts, feeling sad he begging Miguel to put his photo back to Land of the Living. But Ernesto take the photo. Hector confronted Ernesto because he had not revealed to the world that all the songs were composed by him. He was the true author of all the songs and music they had created together. This revelation shocked Miguel, who learned that Hector's entire body of work had been wrongfully attributed to Ernesto. Amidst the ensuing confusion, Miguel pointed out a critical detail in Ernesto's actions that prompted Hector to realize the true circumstances of his death. Ernesto had poisoned Hector's tequila making it appear as an accidental death. He did this when Hector wanted to return to his family, masking the act as an accident, and stealing all the music he had written. As Hector realized the deception, he confronted Ernesto. However, Ernesto called his guards to apprehend both Hector and Miguel, fearful that the living world would discover the stolen songs. The guards forcibly pushed the two into a senate pit, sealing their tragic fate. In the senate, Miguel confesses to Hector that he was wrong, and expresses his worry that he should have listened to his family's warnings. However, as Hector begins to fade, he reveals in a weak voice that his daughter Coco is starting to forget him. This revelation shocks Miguel, who quickly shows Hector the picture he took from the ofrenda. In that moment, they both realize that Miguel's great-great-grandfather is Hector. Suddenly, Imeldu arrives with her spirit animal. However, she is not happy to see Hector. As they reach their home, Miguel's dog suddenly transforms into a spirit animal. Upon landing, Miguel explains the circumstances of Hector's death, but Imelda remains unforgiving. Despite this, she agrees to help save Hector by taking back his photo from Ernesto. Accompanied by all his relatives, they discreetly infiltrate the backstage at the Ernesto concert. While smiling inwardly, they inadvertently come face to face with Ernesto in an attempt to reclaim Hector's photo. However, Ernesto recognizes them and promptly summons security. Imelda successfully seizes the photo, but unexpectedly finds herself lifted onto the stage, confronting a surprised audience. Confused about what to do, she begins to sing with her beautiful voice, leaving the entire family astonished by her hidden talent and captivating the audience. Nevertheless, Ernesto joins her on stage, attempting once again to steal the precious photo. Imelda skillfully escapes, rushing to Hector and embracing him with sheer happiness. Backstage, Imelda graciously grants her blessing to Miguel, allowing him to return home without any conditions. However, Ernesto interrupts, seizing Miguel with the malicious intent to harm him. Amid the confrontation, Ernesto shocking discloses that he was the mastermind behind Hector's murder. In a surprising turn of events, one of Miguel's cousins discovers a stage camera and starts recording, promptly broadcasting the revelation to the concert audience thereby exposing Ernesto's true nature. Subsequently, Ernesto callously throws Miguel from the building, leaving the audience horrified. He then retreats to the stage to resume the show. In a moment of embarrassment, the audience condemns Ernesto, labeling him as a murderer and thief. As Miguel plummets to the ground, his loyal dog attempts to rescue him, inadvertently causing the loss of Hector's precious photo. However, just as Miguel is on the brink of facing death, Pepita intervenes, saving him to the immense relief of his family and the concert audience. Pepita then takes center stage, propelling Ernesto into the air, and ultimately hurling him into a bell from a tower, reminiscent of the circumstances surrounding Ernesto's original demise. As the sun rises, Hector begins to disappear because Coco is forgetting him. While he fades away, Imelda blesses Miguel without conditions allowing him to return to the living world. In a desperate attempt to save Hector, Miguel rushes back to his home with the guitar. Upon arriving, he finds Coco, frantically, 
Miguel pleads with Coco to remember her father, but there is no response. The family forcefully opens the door, and a tearful Miguel finds solace in the comforting embrace of Enrique. Despite the previous unsuccessful attempts, Miguel tries again with all his heart, a special song that Hector used to sing to Coco when she was little. Amazingly, Coco starts remembering and sings along. The familiar tune helps Coco remember. She tells everyone her father was a musician, and she takes out a picture of her father that she had hidden. She gets the part of the picture with her dad's face that was missing. Now the photo is complete. One year later, the culmination of Coco's collected letters from Hector, reveals the truth that Ernesto had stolen his songs. This revelation allows Hector to be rightfully honored in place of Ernesto. The ofrenda now includes tributes to Hector, and a recently departed Coco. In the land of the dead, Hector and Imelda rekindle their romance, joining Coco and the rest of their family for a visit to the world of the living. Miguel, filled with a sense of belonging and purpose, sings and plays music for his relatives, both those who are still living and those who have passed on. The harmonious reunion reflects the enduring power of family bonds and the significance of honoring one's roots.